Welcome. Today we are here to show you how the Benson Public Library started our small rural seed library. This is a webinar that was very helpful, but we wanted something smaller that would fit our needs. We obtained seeds from seed grants from three different companies. There are many more out there. This is just what we used. We applied for a free community seed toolkit. We did run out of envelopes that arrived in the seed sorting kit, so we ordered three more boxes. What makes our seed library more suited for a small rural community? We wanted to create a small seed library that was easy for our patrons and staff to use. We wanted to create an honor system, meaning you do not need a library card to check out seeds, only a local address. And we did not process and catalog the seeds into the computer system. We limited the amount of seeds that were put into a packet to three to six seeds. Due to our small size, we decided to let patrons take three seed packets per family every six months. We had 108 seed packets donated. Once everything had arrived, volunteers came to help sort seeds. Approximately five to eight volunteers sorting seeds at one hour a week took us about two months to sort everything. Once seeds were all separated into packets, they were then sorted into boxes categorized by easy, medium, and advanced. This was determined by how difficult it is to save seeds true to type, not how to grow them. We wanted to give the patrons the instructions on the back to the seed packet to ensure success. We were photocopying the back of each seed packet, cutting out each one, and stapling the copied instructions to each seed packet. After the easy seeds were done, we decided this was too time consuming and wasting a lot of paper. So we came up with a new plan. We came up with an idea to have a notebook of the master copies. Inside this notebook are all the seed packet instructions. At the time the patron checks out seeds, they will be given a photocopy of their seeds growing instructions. To display our seeds, we created a notebook that the patrons could look up and select their seeds. Explaining the seed library was broken down into two, three pages. Patrons can read about the seed library, choosing seeds, borrowing seeds, saving seeds, and use the reference guide of resources that we offer. We use Pima County Seed Library downloadable printable materials as a guide to create these pages. Photocopies were made of all of the front of the seed packets for easier seed selection. Baseball card holders were ordered to hold each photocopied picture. Each one was alphabetized and numbered. Stickers were placed on each seed packet to let patrons know who they were donated by. They were categorized into easy, medium, and advanced. This concludes our video. A big thank you to all these wonderful companies and volunteers that has made our seed library possible. I hope this information helps you to get your small seed library started. Thank you so much for your time. Best wishes.